Hi, I'm Emma and I'm here to show you some tips and techniques of how to do beautiful makeup. In the description below are the links to all the products I use in this tutorial. Any questions, please leave me a comment below. Hi, in today's tutorial, I will show you how to create a beautiful lip and how to make it stay. I've got the lovely Annabelle again today and I'm just going to start by prepping the skin, obviously cleanse. Um, I don't really tone so much, I just tend to cleanse and moisturise. And then obviously hydrate the lips using lip balm. Um, I'm using all Walida skincare today, it's called Skin Food. I'll give you all the details afterwards. Um, so basically I'm starting with the foundation. The foundation I'm using is a more matte foundation today. It's a Bobbi Brown's. It's a new one, it's got a little bit more coverage to it. Um, and I just thought it will have a little bit of a different effect rather than all glowy. It's just going to be slightly more matte. Um, blend this in. So once the foundation's on, I'm going to use my Touche Clay, which is, a, this is a actually Givenchy Mr. Light. Um, I really like using these just as a um, highlighter. Not so much highlighting, but obviously they're just getting rid of any dark shadows and more light reflective. So I put it around the eyes, the nose, and the chin. And I do this for most makeups. Um, from, for, for whatever I'm doing, tutorial or when I'm working editorially. It's just one of the basic steps of makeup. And just blend that all away. So it gives you a nice flawless base to start the lip. Now, the first thing I do for the lips is obviously I, I do blot away the um, lip balm and then I use concealer on the lips to give it a good base and then I blot that away. As you can see, we just so it's only use the tissue. Um, I'm, then I just get my, um, I use my ring finger and I use this to get the pigment really pressed into the lip. So I obviously decanter the lipstick onto the back of my hand and then use my ring finger and to press and roll the lipstick pigment into the lips. I find that this gives me a really good shape, um, better than trying to carve it out with a lip brush. So I go all along the lip, the top and the bottom, obviously starting with the cupid's bow, the bottom lip, and then working my way out. You'll find that your fingers are probably a little bit big for those smaller outer edges. So what I normally do is try and do as much as I can and then I'll use a lip brush to sharpen up the edges. But it does give a really good shape. So I'm just going to go in with my lip brush and just carve out those edges just to be a little bit sharper. It should, by doing, by applying it with my fingers, it's almost kind of put the lipstick exactly up to where it needs to go. And then I'm just sharpening up the edges with my lip brush. Some people I know can do a whole lip without using a lip brush um, and that's one woman that I know called Pat McGrath and she does it so well but I do need to use a lip brush um, as well. But I do like the idea that, it, that the pigment does sit in really well onto the lips by using your fingers and pressing and rolling. So I'm doing this a few times so marking out the lip line with the brush and then go back in with the pigment. To build a lip, to build a really good colour, um, it's good to make a few coats. So this is kind of coat one. I'm using my um, Muji uh, cotton buds just to clean up any edges that aren't sharp enough. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do step two where I blot it all off. Um, so this gets rid of any kind of greasy patches on the lips and then go back in again and apply my second coat. Uh, I wouldn't say this is like painting a wall, <laughs> but it is kind of building up a good base for the lips so that it stays a lot longer. And this is what I would do for a lot of the photo shoots that I work on, just so that 
it has that staying power um, and less smudging. So again, and I'm going to go for the third and final kind of touch up. So yeah, and what I need to do is just set it with some powder. So gently using some loose translucent powder, pat on the powder so that it dries out the lip and then do a third coat, which I just did quickly. And round the edges to sharpen up once you've got your lip exactly how you want it. I use the Mr. Light from the Givenchy range and I just go around the edges slightly with the highlighter pen and then blend in to, to right up to the lip line. You've got to be really super careful, it's just I'm used to doing this, but the brush is quite fluffy so you don't want to uh, use a brush that you can't work with to get close to the lip line. If you need a thinner, flatter brush then I suggest that that would be a good way to do it. It's just I'm so used to doing this, I just know that this brush pushes the Givenchy Mr. Light exactly where I want it to go. And this gives a really sharp finish to the lipstick. So the lipstick is kind of done. Um, I'm just going to finish off doing a few little finishing touches. So brushing brows. I never really do Annabelle's brows because she's got such a strong brow. I don't really need to apart from applying a brush and some gel. Um, curling the lashes because that always opens up the eye. I'm using a spoolie today, um, of a, a, not a heavy mascara, obviously the few mascaras I have used have been a little bit more full volume, so this one today is a Clinique mascara, um, but I'm using a spoolie to apply it. It's a black brown and it just goes on really light. Uh, I'm just using a bit of a highlighter, the, I do like the Medina highlighter in nude or the Pat McGrath um, skin fetish in nude. Uh, Medina is from Milan. Um, it's a product I picked out there but Pat McGrath is amazing. Um, highlighter duo stick. And then I'm just powdering down the T-zone taking away any hot spots. And there you have the finished look. Thanks for watching please remember to like and comment um, new videos are going to be uploaded onto my channel every saturday so please subscribe